Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Windows automatic redeployment with Microsoft Intune. IT admins can use Windows automatic redeployment to quickly remove and users personal files, applications and settings by resetting a Windows devices from the login screen at any time. It allows administrators to reset devices to a known good managed state while preserving the device management enrollment. The device management enrollment is related to Azure Active Directory and Microsoft Intune. So basically, it will retain the Azure AD join status and Intune MDM enrollment. After Windows automatic redeployment is triggered, the devices are ready for use by standard users. Windows automatic redeployment feature is currently only working on Azure AD join Windows devices. To enable Windows automatic redeployment from the login screen, we just need to configure only one specific setting named Disable Automatic Redeployment Credentials. This policy is used to enable or disable the visibility of the credential provider that triggers the reset on a device. This policy does not actually trigger the reset. This policy enables the administrator to authenticate and trigger the reset on the device. By default, this policy is set to disable. In this video, we will use device configuration profile to enable the visibility of the credentials for Windows automatic redeployment. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. Under Platform, select Windows 10 and Later. Select Settings Catalog. Click on Create. On the Basics page, enter a descriptive name for this new profile. We have given name Taste Enable Automatic Redeployment Credentials for this policy. Optionally, you can enter the description for this policy. Click on Next. On Configuration Settings page, click on Add Settings. Scroll down and click on Credential Providers. Select the checkbox in front of Disable automatic redeployment credentials. Close the settings speaker page. As you can see, the disable automatic redeployment credentials setting is already enabled. So we have to disable it in order to enable automatic redeployment credentials on targeted devices. Let me disable this setting. Click on next to move to the scope tags page. In scope tags, you can assign a tag to filter the profile to specific groups. Already default scope tag is selected and in this example, we will go with the default scope tag. Click next to move to assignment page. On the assignment page, add the Azure AD group on which you want to target the profile. Click on add groups to select our taste group. We have created one test device group named test win client. So from the list, we will select test win client group. Click on select. We have one device in our test group. Click on next. On the review plus create page, we see a setting which we have configured for this profile. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message, policy created successfully. Click on refresh to see the updated profile list. 
we have our policy test enable automatic redeployment credentials let's go to our windows 10 device uh, first let's check the current status uh, let me close this and let's uh, sign out from this windows 10 device you can also lock this windows 10 device to see the settings as well to trigger the windows automatic redeployment we need to press the combination of control plus windows key plus r on the login screen so let's try to press the combination control plus windows key plus r and currently we are not able to trigger the windows automatic redeployment on our test windows 10 device why because that setting is currently not enabled so let me again sign into this windows 10 device and let's initiate manual sync with intune let's double click on intune sync shortcut i click on info click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete okay last sync was completed successfully now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. You can see currently we are using the credential of our user test user one. Open Intune Sync page. Click on Info. After policy synchronization, we can see. Credential Provider's policy has successfully applied on our Windows 10 device. We also want to check the registry key to confirm it. Open Run Menu, type RagEdit and press Enter key to open Registry Editor. Click on Yes. Go to HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Expand it, click on current version, click on authentication, click on credential providers and click on first key. Check the value of disabled rag D word key which need to be set to zero. In our case, as we can see, the value for disabled key is zero. This means we have successfully enabled the visibility of the credentials for Windows automatic redeployment on our Windows 10 device. Now we can perform the automatic redeployment on this Windows 10 device. But before we do that, let me show you the list of installed applications on this Windows 10 device. Open Run Menu, type appvis.cpl and press Enter key. As you can see, we have installed Notepad++, Oracle VM VirtualBox Gas Editions, VLC Media Player, and WinRAR on this Windows 10 device. For testing purpose, I have created one text file and folder with some shortcut icon on the desktop. We can see we have one folder, one sample text file, two shortcuts, and two shortcuts to open applications. As we know that Windows automatic redeployment will remove users' personal files, applications, and settings by resetting Windows 10 device. So all these installed apps, files, folders, and shortcut icons will be removed from this Windows 10 device. Now, let's see Windows Automatic Redeployment in action. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 device. Let's trigger the Windows Automatic Redeployment from login screen using the key combination Control Windows plus R. We can see the option to automatically redeploy a Windows. Here we have to log in with a Azure AD account that have local admin rights on the device to run autopilot reset on this device. Once administrator credentials are provided, the redeployment process will be triggered. Let me enter the username, which is going to be user1 msf surat v2.onmicrosoft.com. 
let's enter user password and press enter key to start windows automatic redeployment let me press enter key we can see the message resetting a windows this means the redeployment process has been started successfully it is currently restarting a windows 10 device we can see the message please wait the windows will show resetting this pc until it is finished and system will reboot automatically during the process currently it is resetting this pc this process will take some time to finish once the process is completed system will start installing windows 10 on this device okay as we can see currently it is installing windows 10 on this device once the installation process finish we will reach on out of box experience page this will also take some time to complete the installation when this automatic redeployment has been successfully completed on this windows 10 device now we need to complete few steps on out of box experience to complete the process first we need to select our region let me select india and click on yes next select right keyboard layout click on skip again this is going to take some time to complete Accept the Windows 10 license agreement by clicking on Accept. On this page, you can choose the privacy settings for your device. I'm going to hit on Accept. Perfect, we can see the message Success, Windows is set up and ready to go. The process has been completed successfully. Now the device is ready to go. Keep in mind that the device is still Azure AD joined and Microsoft Intune Manage. You can log into this Windows 10 device with any Azure AD user account from your tenant. In this example, we will sign in with Taste User One's user account. Let me type the username user one msf surat v2 dot on Microsoft dot com. Tap user account password and press enter key to sign in. Windows will start the user profile creation process. This is the first time the user is signing on this Windows 10 device and that's why Windows is creating the profile for user account. Click on OK to set up a PIN. Click here to get an OTP code on registered number. Enter OTP code and click on verify. Now set up a pin for this user account. Click on OK. All done. Click on OK to sign into this Windows 10 device. We have again signed into this Windows 10 device using Taste User One's credential, but we cannot see the user's old profile. We don't have the file folder and shortcuts on the desktop. Let's check the installed application on this Windows 10 device. Open Run menu, type appvis.cpl and press Enter key. Apart from built-in application, Microsoft Edge and Microsoft OneDrive, we can see not a single application installed on this Windows 10 device. Not even VirtualBox Guest Additions tool. So using Windows Automatic Redeployment, we have successfully removed and users' personal files, applications, and settings by resetting this Windows 10 device. The main use case for this reset is the best option for reusing a device within our organization. We are basically removing the last user from a device and handling it right over to the next version with no extra work needed. That is all about Windows Automatic Redeployment with Intune. That's all for this video on how to configure Windows Automatic Redeployment with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.